with the New Jersey governor, people believe that they can uh, put the American people lives in jeopardy by denying them uh, the right to cross the George Washington Bridge. Well, this culture is uh, far widespread because I know I have had my Social Security money stolen out of banks by organized crime. I have had attorneys and doctors falsify their records and maybe even workers' compensation court where a attorney can get paid even though for years I have been complaining about this attorney, these attorneys, who uh, evidently didn't ask or according to uh, the court records was they did ask and Liberty Mutual showed that I got my checks. Well, I didn't. And why didn't my attorneys inform me when they knew I flew from Seattle, Washington to New York to be at that hearing? There's a lot of questions. And I hope part of the federal government, which I have written a letter to, will call me in to testify. Because if I testify, bankers, doctors, yes, even lawyers, and maybe a judge will go to jail. Even a police officer who once guarded Social Security in downtown New York because he flat out told me that uh, my mother-in-law's cousin paid for his wife's surgery. So he will not permit me to go into Social Security and inform them that my checks were being stolen. Now, that's a federal crime, stealing someone's Social Security money. And I believe uh, that so-called police officer in plain clothes or government uh, officer also committed a crime by uh, not allowing me to exercise my rights as an American citizen and report a crime. Now, the governor's problem is very similar, in my opinion, because that guy was an idiot to tell me that a certain union official paid for his wife's surgery. Uh, I've lived in senior housing in Seattle where I've been victimized. And uh, the managers turn around and ask me, are you going back to New York? Well, I always tell them I'm not going back to New York to marry my uh, mother-in-law's cousins because uh, in her opinion I'm a slave. I have no rights because she's the godfather in organized crime. She controls. She controlled that uh, so-called police officer. She uh, seems to be able to control doctors, lawyers, who uh, 
put down, I can go back to work. Even though specialist with an x-ray has uh, proven I need surgeries on my knees. Now, why does these things happen? Well, that's because people in the United States don't want to get involved. We all need to be more like Snowden and get involved because that's the only way you can guarantee your children will have a uh, crime-free life. They won't be victimized. So I hope people will start standing up just like me. I'm not afraid. No one's going to kill me because uh, they would be uh, killing the golden goose that they've been stealing from for years. Social Security money, workers' comp money. Uh, that's the problem. And what the governor of Jersey, his people behave just like the people that have been uh, robbing me. Well, I intend to sing and let the world know what is going on. So maybe your children won't have to go through the same things I've gone through, being robbed, uh, being they have tried to force me to marry one of their cousins. So the fact that I've been a hard worker all my life and should be getting decent money to live on, but uh, like I said, my Social Security money is being stolen. And, you know, if a certain government a group has me come to Washington to testify. They will get the proof and people will be locked up. Because how can a doctor say I can go back to work when I need surgeries on my knees? I've had a heart attack. I've had you know, I need surgery. I'm even wearing a leg brace to avoid the surgery. So, oh, we need to speak up in this country. That's the only way we're going to make it better.